Well, here's the project so far. We've got the screening. We've got the door cappings on, wing mirrors on. All the underneath is all done. It's all been under sealed. Exhaust, stainless steel exhaust system is fitted. That's all looking nice. But I've lost the bracket for the back. I can't find it anywhere. I'll come across it. Um, all the little shields, everything underneath there is all done. The uh, axle is all been... I've rebuilt all the back axle, we've got all new springs, we've got all new brake discs on these as they're inboard brakes as you probably can see. All the underneath is looking good. And what I went for on this car, I went for, took a gamble on eBay, stainless steel bumpers which have fitted absolutely beautiful. The only problem was a couple of them was there was metric nuts and bolts but anyway the car now is coming along lots of trim bits to do still will take quite a while um, but anyway it's progressing um, lights have got to go in all the front bumpers are on so once I get all that on I shall do a electrical light test make sure everything's working and then it'll be um, a new fuel tank to fire it up to make sure it goes okay. But so far, yeah, full, fully reconditioned. Everything overhauled on the car. There shouldn't be any problems with it and it goes back together. But you never know with these problems with some of these cars. It's been a fight all the way because all the parts you buy for these E-types are made. I think they're made in China and they're not very good fitting you have to fiddle every bit on the car so it does get a bit frustrating but when you get it together and it starts looking like this yeah it makes you uh or gives you the enthusiasm to carry on and finish it